Hello Scorpio, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 23rd to the 29th of October 2023. Um, so your birthday sleep season um, starts on Monday, so happy birthday. This is a general reading, uh, so can't resonate for everyone, so only take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest for someone else. I read for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, so do check out your other placements if you're interested and I have personal readings open so if you want one all the details are in the description box below so let's have a look and see what the energies have for you this coming week Scorpio the light's suddenly gone very interesting outside so I wonder if something dramatic's about to happen let's see so we're starting off with the nine of swords I'm not speaking on that yet. Uh-oh. I am speaking on that now. So we have the Queen of Wands here. And we have the King of Wands under here. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm. I think there are two people in pain here, Scorpio. feels like a sort of common thread this part of anxiety divine counterparts who are not happy in separation but it would take a lot for them to come back together there was a lot of conflict in this relationship going out of strength so I think you've made with Leo energy I think you've you've been going through a period of recovery I feel as if the worst is behind you because there's a, a smallish mountain in the far background so it feels as though you know what what you had to overcome here has been overcome but there's still right at the center of the reed there's an unhappiness here and so oh okay so what we're going into is the page of cups Pages are, yes, it's, oh, okay, small energy with pages, but, you know, the page of cups can be apologetic. And pages are messengers. So I think, you know, perhaps... If you're in um, if you're in separation from somebody who who to you feels like a soulmate, and you know you're in you're feeling in a lot of pain, anxiety, internal conflict about about this separation, they feel it too. They feel it too, Scorpio. You know, you're kind of, I feel like you're mirroring each other and neither of you are happy with the darkness that is has fallen between you. Um, it's not telling me what's what's gone on here, but you know, it, it, it feels as it feels as though, you know, if there's if I'm rarely drawn to the mountain in the background in the strength card. And so if I'm being drawn to it, it means that there has been an obstacle of some sort that has required you to recover from it and to rebalance and centre yourself and get yourself back into a space where you are um, where you're kind of acting in your own best interests. But 
I can't get away from it. These two people are not happy about being apart. But it feels like, you know, right here, um, in, the, in the suit of wands court cards, the, the page, the knight and the king all have salamanders protecting them in one way or another, on their cloak, on their tunic, on, you know, or by the side of their throne. And salamanders are resistant to fire, and of course, ones are the suit of fire. Whereas the queen, she doesn't have salamanders to protect her. You know, she has, to, she is taking the risk. She is carrying the risk. So she, she is brave. And, you know, and, and yeah, as I say that, I'm brought back to this strength card because she doesn't have that protection you know she puts her hand into the fire she will be burned and so she has to decide whether she wants to take that risk so I think I think it feels like one person here is feels the sense of risk more than the other and don't you know it's this is about energy rather than male and female so don't get tied up in genders about this you know it could be that the um the the queen of wands here who does not have the protection of the salamander could be a guy you know um so i feel like there's there's Somebody's going to break the ice here. And I think it, you know, from the way I'm reading the cards, I feel like it's going to be this king is, is going to break the ice because he is, you know, he, he has the protection of the salamander <laughs> and the queen doesn't because spirits of ice is protect your boundaries. You know, I suppose the rule of thumb is, if somebody has hurt us once, if if a relationship has not worked out once, then we need to look at why we think it might work out this time. And, you know, not necessarily just be seduced by the feelings that are involved. And so, you know, Spirit is asking here that you use your discernment as to whether you really believe that there can be some sort of stable and lasting relationship created here. I mean, this is the Queen and King. So, you know, that would in and of, of itself, that's a divine Hair. and so that would suggest yes but it doesn't do any harm Scorpio to ask those questions to say you know what do I truly want what what is it that is going to make me want to stay in this what is going to make me happy and fulfilled what is going to make you happy and fulfilled? Can we make that happen together? I feel as though there's something here, Scorpio, about that that there's there's a more practical conversation that needs to take place around this relationship that has never taken place, where you know this relationship is 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 almost because you know these these uh, they, they, they're the king and queen of fire. So there's probably a great deal of passion here. But have you grounded it? You know, have you found a way to be, to bring it down to earth? And I'm not sure that you have because, well, if you, if, if you had, you wouldn't be in separation now. So I think there needs to be a more almost pragmatic approach where you're a bit more sort of, Right, okay, so how are we going to do this? You know, not just we love each other and so therefore we're just going to, it, it, we, we'll just make it work somehow. 
I don't I don't think that's going to cut it if I'm honest. I think you need much more practicality around this. And so, you know, when this approach is made, it's up to you whether you decide to respond to it or not. But if you do decide to respond to it and if you do decide to give this person another chance then spirit is urging you very strongly to ensure that you put in place boundaries which you will not allow somebody to cross but also to really um you know thrash out between you how you're going to manifest this in reality because I think that's the bit that didn't happen and that's where it went wrong I'll just take a message from the wisdom of the oracle oh, oh. Who fell out there yeah yeah it could be that this person feels like home for you and they make you happy but equally I think they make you unhappy as well so it's it's really you know how are you going to make how are you gonna make this real you know it's great when it's all fantasy and you know great okay we'll just be together and be in love and all the rest of it but how are you gonna make it real how are, you, how are you going to make this 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 home in the 5D, which is, you know, I think what is going on here, these two people who have this connection where they feel like home to each other, how are you going to pull that down to earth and manifest it in the 3D, in the world? Because, you know, I think... It's, it's not wrong to believe that, you know, that this person is your happiness. But equally, you have to get to a place where they're your happiness and not your misery. <laughs> um, where you're not just tearing each other apart because you can't quite make it work in reality. But there is a strong tie here. There is a very incredibly strong tie here. But it, it calls for some, some groundedness now, Scorpio. If, if it's going to truly work. And if it's not just going to sort of explode in a fireball every time. So, Scorpio, um, interesting reading. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, as I said, um, if you did like, if if you did enjoy it, please do like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be great if you could. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye now.